Hello everybody and welcome back to a Planet Zoo video. Um, yeah, I'm a, li I'm a bit late to this. So, um, Planet Zoo has released the announcement for the Tropical Pack, a brand new scenery pack coming on April 4th. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it and talk about it. So, um, basically the Tropical Pack has got five new animals coming to it. The... La Gibbon. There we go. The Red River Hog. Fusa. This is not an in-game image, by the way, because, well, we don't have one just, uh, just yet. The Asian Water Monitor. And our brand new walkthrough exhibit animal, the Brown Throated Three Toed Sloth. Um, yeah, so this is a very unexpected surprise. I was honestly expecting islands um, until, well, someone brought up that, uh, I think it was Lydia on the stream. She kind of <laughs> accidentally spoiled the Red River Hog. Because, yeah, I think I remember her um, shushing herself and then Tim just giving her a look. <laughs> that was so funny. Um, anyway, so this is the Tropical Pack. So, um, if you can see on the top of that, um, that tower there, you can see the statue of the Fusa. And to the right of it, the statue of the Red River Hog. We'll see that in a bit more detail there. You can also see the new null, null paths from the update um, coming into effect here very nicely indeed. So, we would so give a warm welcome to the Plant Zoo Tropical Pack, adopting care for five incredible new animals commonly found in tropical rainforests around the world, including Africa, Southeast Asia, and South America. Some of these species live high up in the canopy, others along fertile riverbanks but all have evolved to flourish remarkably in jungle biomes. In addition, expand your dream zoo even further with 200 plus detailed new scenery pieces celebrating the beauty of traditional Indonesian architecture and take on a brand new campaign scenario set in a lush green Indonesian locale. So, um, yeah, that's just building it up a little bit, but let's get into the rest of it. So, expand your zoo with a huge range of stunning new scenery pieces that pay tribute to the architecture and traditions native to Southeast Asia. Build Balinese-style tiered temples that cast striking silhouettes against ju lush jungle foliage. Construct peaceful Tonga Tonkonan, that, how you say it? Tonkonan inspired villages and assemble detailed new multi-part animal statues. Oh, they're multi-part, okay. As well as beautiful, a beautiful assortment of props such as tables, benches, parasols, drapery. There's also new exotic, or exotic new Southeast Asian plant life, including the Rafflesia, Attenborough's pitcher plant, yeah, and basket fern. Add all these beautiful pieces and props to your existing zoo, or use them to build a fresh new tropical paradise from scratch. That sounds pretty nice. Uh. Try your hand at an all-new campaign scenario set in the spectacular environment of Bali, Indonesia. Reunite with Tiffany, the rich socialite whose ambition outweighs her zookeeper skills, and lend a hand at the tropical zoo she's just been gifted by her dad. But watch out for a mysterious character from the past making a surprise appearance. Take up ownership of the zoo, adopt and manage a, a wonderful array of animals, and see if you can generate v reviews as hot as the climate. The temperature may be sweltering, but cooler heads will prevail. So, watch out for a mysterious character from the past. Make a surprise appearance. Would be Dominic Myers. Because, uh, watch out for a mysterious character. I'm... Um, I want to say Bernie, but I almost think it's Myers. I was about to say Miles, but no. Um, Myers. Dominic Myers. Yeah, if you haven't played the, the campaign, you probably won't know who the hell that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can see the Gibbon utilizing um, the brand new climbing uh, mechanics being added. So you're able to select items that are able to be interacted with 
um, by climbing creatures. So um, the gibbon here is brachiating along the liana vines. And I imagine it could probably do the same for the rest of the climbing frames. And I would love to apply this to the Siamang. Um, I'm looking forward to this um, Indonesian scenery because uh, we could build a really cool, really cool Southeast Asian um, themed zoo. And have the Siamang, the La Gibbon, the Orangutan, all of um, Indonesia's apes that are in the game at least. And uh, yeah, look at all the foliage around too. Looking fantastic, the Rafflesia there. Um, I think that's on the next slide, actually. Yeah. So, um, you can see the epiphytes um, that are being added, the Rafflesia, the Attenborough's pitcher plants. There's also this um, cool uh, forest floor leaf litter being put on the ground there. So, that will be cool. And you can see some of the... Is it... Oh, what, what type of fern was it? Um, the basket ferns see a few of those the only trees that i can tell but there's a lot of new ferns and other forest vegetation there yeah this is gonna be good i can't wait to showcase all of this this is great um we also get a shot of our um asian water monitor swimming through now i actually think this might be my favorite looking monitor in the game Look like the best looking monitor in the game. I, I like how the way it looks. Like look at the toes moving as it swims. So I think this guy can actually deep dive. So um, I, I think I read. But um, I'm more concerned about how it looks. Like Look at the detail on the pattern. E each scale is um, detailed with its own color. Like look with, with the underbelly. You got these little flicks of the pattern going up towards the... Uh, Oh, what's that? What's that called? Is it the lateral line? I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, looks stunning. We can't, we don't see the face, but um, we see most of the animal. And I love how the tail looks. The tail looks brilliant. Yeah, monster lizards are one of my favourite um, types of creatures, and seeing another one at last is brilliant. Hopefully, we can get the Parenti at some point too. We'd love to see that guy. Um, just took this snip from the trailer to look at this, um, awesome scenery. Like, you've got this cool serpent statue down there. Uh, you can see the new parasols, the benches. There's also bikes with luggage on them, some lights. And that nice little decorative lake there. Or pond. That, that looks really nice. I love the brickwork, too. The brickwork looks stellar. And I love the new, really high rising roofs i think that's really good uh yeah much of the scenery that i was suggesting for the islands pack can be found here and much of it can be applied like with, with these cool thatch roofs uh, you, you saw in one of the previous images some really high rising roofs that um i think papua new guineans uh use in their traditional uh huts and still use you can see some of the walls and that new path too that's a really good looking new car. Yeah, there's a lot to play around with here. Can't wait to use it. I love I love the pagodas and all that sort of stuff. That, that is brilliant. Um, we get a look at our Red River Hog statue with the little Red River Hogs in the background there. Um, yeah, right, look at that. That is stunning. The amount of detail that goes into that. Um, so now that brings me back to uh, this image. So uh, you can see a lot of things. Like you have the Gibbon statue for the La, so the La Gibbon statue, as well as a male Gibbon there with its baby and the female in the front. So for those who don't know, the males um, have black fur and white white faces and white hands, and the females are golden with the um white ring around the face and the baby well indeterminate at this point uh, um we also see the red river hogs particularly the male red river hog you can see the bumps on the snout there that's how you know it's a boar 
Uh, you get a closer look at that serpent statue as well. The Reflesias and some of those basket ferns as well. Like, that looks amazing. Are those the... Oh, wait, what are those? I think those might just be parts of the um, serpent. Or is that a... I actually think this might be the water monitor. Because it's got arms. Snakes don't have arms. Yeah, the Red River Hogs look fantastic. I'm so glad we finally got them. They are a great species to finally have in the game. They're just so iconic looking. And I love the detail that went into them. The tufts of hair and everything. But um, something that probably skipped by a few people. Is if you look to the right... To so the far corner of the splash screen, you will find that there are Fusa. The one animal that was not featured in the trailer is featured on the splash screen. As you can see it right here. Um, so you've got the sign there. Um, it seems that they are adopting the same sort of style that they had for all the DLCs last year. Having that realistic sort of look. And if you look above it, on the climbing frame, you'll see two Fusa. Um, now you can't really tell how how well they look from this distance, but judging by the way they're standing, I think we're in for a real treat with the Fusa. And um, I'm glad we're getting we're getting it. <laughs> we're finally getting it. Every, all our dreams are coming are coming true. We finally got the Lar given. We finally got the Red River Hog. Um, we got another Monitor Lizard. We're finally getting the Fusa, um, and we've also now got a sloth. Granted, it um, isn't the sloth that most people wanted. Um, also, I, I'm still cute. I am really curious as to how it's going to breed because I don't think brown-throated three-toed sloths uh, have been really successful in captivity. But hey, we'll see how Frontier manages it. Like they always have ideas. And since they're bringing in the brown throat of three toads sloth, I could actually see them bring in a marine iguana for the islands pack because there are some marine iguanas in captivity. I think there's a place in Uganda that um, houses them. Or house them, I don't know um, whether they're still alive or not, but um, they're not really successful. Um, yeah, like islands could have so many new, unique things. Like imagine. If Frontier wanted to uh, do all sorts of different exhibit animals for the islands. I mean, they don't have to be moving around all the time. Like, they could do a banded sea crate. Like, that would be awesome. Um, coconut crab. Marine iguana as a habitat animal. Um, and maybe even some lorikeets in the exhibits. So, I might do this in my DLC rework and um, see what you guys think. Well, I think a islands pack, now that the Fusa is taken care of, could look like Tasmanian Devil. And if we get it an animal pack, it could look like Tasmanian Devil, Kokoril Safaka, Goodfellow Street Kangaroo, North Island Brown Kiwi, Walrus, um, Lowlander Noah, Southern Rockhopper Penguin, or Little Penguin, um, the... Lorikeets for the walkthrough exhibit, coconut crab, and banded sea crate. So we could get maybe three species of lor lorikeet and lorry, and the other two exhibit animals are taken up by the sea crate and coconut crab. I, I think an, an island's animal pack would look really good with that. Yeah, it's a mystery what we're going to get next. But, um, yeah, if you're excited for the Tropical Pack, as I am, um, please follow along because Frontier is doing a little exploration through the jungles of the world on a mysterious island, it seems, um, where we will see what the sloth looks like, the fusa looks like, um, see the Nile Monitor's face, and yeah, just get insight into the other inner runnings of this pack, which is going to be really cool. Like, I, I still love that transition with the gibbon um, swinging across. The, the new transitions for the trailers are awesome. Like, you got you had the butterflies and grasslands, and now you got a gibbon swinging across 
um, tropical. Right. Plants are such, uh, at such a good point. I, I don't want it to end. <laughs> but, um... Something, something else I would like to mention. i uh, just trying to... I forgot to turn that on loop. Um, but uh, something that I have thought about is just because we got a tropical pack doesn't rule out the idea of getting a rainforest animal pack. I, I've heard some people not too happy with this DLC. And I can see where they're coming from. But we may have gotten a tropical scenery pack. But that doesn't rule out the possibility of getting a an animal pack based in the rainforest again. So we could get the um, the new world monkeys that people are crying out for, and I'm crying out for them too. Like I would love a spider monkey, a howler monkey, a tamara, and a squirrel monkey. Any of those. Um, perhaps also. Um, the Lin's two toad sloth, if um, people sort of wanted at that time. Uh, Ocelot 2, possibility. Southern Tamandua. Uh, Kawati is definitely one I, I still would love to see. And um, hopefully we get it this year. Because uh, it's Kawati. We got the raccoon. Get its relative. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of the tropical um pack i was about to say tropical animal pack um leave a like subscribe and stick around for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye also i'd just like to note that i won't be covering it straight away when it releases just like to point that out